good morning at standard children hope all are well now we have completed chapter 5 and we have done exercise a and b hope all have written it in the textbook now the next one is answer these questions with reference to the context the sentence from the lesson is given and three questions based on that sentence you have to answer now now the first one excuse me please but where is it who said these words do you remember who said these words excuse me please but where is it did you all read the lesson well if you have read the lesson well you will be able to say the answer correctly now who said these words it was a martian the man from mars the alien from mars who said this sentence now whom were they spoken to these words were spoken to the professor and his family and his wife now see what did the professor's wife think it was now the professor's wife was very clever she thought that he was or she knew that he was referring to the rest room second one i am glad some of your professional visitors maintain them last it is them short form is given there e m only t h is missing there that is why the apostrophe is given there now who are the professional visitors you remember the professor was a cultural anthropologist so many people come to visit him related to this anthropology so they are the people who come to visit the professor belonging to other cultures and what does e m refer to e m is actually them them refers to the manners the good manners that is shown by the people or shown by the martian why is the speaker glad the speaker is glad because many of the visitors who come to visit the professor do not show good manners only this martian behaved very well had pol was very polite and showed very good manners that the professor's wife is happy at least one of your visitors showed good manners third one now son you shouldn't have done that now what did the son do who said these words the professor said to his son what shouldn't the son have done you remember the son climbed the window yes and came along the gutter which reached the bathroom door yes and he peeped in through the bathroom window to find out what the martian was doing in the bathroom and why did the speaker say so the speaker said the professor said you shouldn't have done that because you will frighten away the martian the martian don't know we don't know what he is doing in the restroom you will frighten him or he will get nervous and he will go away next one i am afraid i have made a mistake somehow who said these words it is the martian who said these words and what mistake had the speaker made you remember the martian was in the bed, bath tub in the rest room he was sleeping there so he thought that the other people in the home in the professor's family they did not have place to sleep because he had used up the bath tub in the bathroom and see what is the reaction to the statement how did the professor and his family react to the sentence they said it is no problem we all were sleeping we were all in the living room waiting for you to come out we do not sleep in the bathroom now answer these questions how was it ascertained that the martian was in the bathtub who found out that the martian was in the bathtub it was the professor's son he climbed yes he came in and peeped in through the bathroom window to find out what the martian was doing in the bathroom second one why did the professor's wife think that the martian had drowned so when his son when the professor's son said that he was fully completely inside the bathtub with only his nose jutting out the professor's wife thought that he had drowned in the water or he had died in the water third one why did the professor's daughter want to call the fire department you remember that he had taken a long time in the bathroom he did not come out so they were wondering what had happened to this alien who had went to the bathroom and why he was not coming out so the professor's daughter said 
will do one thing will call the fire department they will come and rescue him or save him fourth one explain dawn began to seep from the bedrooms dawn means early morning early morning the sunlight came into the bedroom you remember they were all watching without sleeping the martian had gone into the bathroom for a long time he had not come out and they were wondering what had happened to the martian or the alien and they were all sitting without sleeping and waiting for this man to come out so it was night time and so you remember dawn began to see from the bedroom means till early morning till the sunlight came into the bedroom they were all sitting there in the bedroom watching what was happening there fifth one every according to the martian how did human sleep why did he think so according to the martian he said that he thought that the human being sleep in the bathtub in the bathroom and why did he think so he has come to this conclusion because in the tv programs he had seen women going and sleeping in the or uh, sitting in the bathtub in the bathroom so he thought that was their sleeping place now think and answer e don't want children if you can do the professor and the martian were too polite to cause interconvenience to each other are there other similarities between them describe the characters of both listing the similarities and the differences now you can see the professor and the martian two circles are given there you have to write their similarities and their difference how both of them were different how both of them were same similar means same now the professor was very friendly and enthusiastic the martian was very shy and reserved he did not talk much he was feeling very shy now what is the similarity both are very polite and considerate of others feelings both of them showed good manners hmm and they were wondering they were considerate of others feeling the martian thought the others had no place to sleep because he had occupied the place in the bathroom in the bathtub and the professor said it is no problem at all our sleeping place is already here in a bedroom now there is one play with the words given there children look it up exercise g use a dictionary to find the difference in meaning between the words in each pair make sentences with the words you need not make sentences you can use the dictionary to find the meanings find out the meaning first one scientist and anthropologist what is the difference between a scientist and what is the difference between an anthropologist second one a human and humanoid third one poise and pose fourth one complications and implications fifth one hesitantly and gingerly sixth one blundered and plundered now i want you all to find out the meanings write it in your notebook and send it to me now exercise h circle the words within the brackets that can replace the word said in these sentences first one your suit pop was hanging on the door said the son so three options are given there argued informed and begged so what does this sentence tell us it was not an argument it was not a begging mode it was an information so the word is informed here second one here i'll show you the way he said acknowledged volunteered or disclosed i'll show you the way he is it is a voluntary action volunteered third one now son you shouldn't have done that said the professor persuaded protested or scolded the professor scolded his son saying no my child you should not have done that fourth one maybe we ought to call the fire department she said suggested reported or commanded she suggested we'll call the fire department fifth one don't tell me you stayed dry all night the martian said exclaimed mumbled or screamed it was not screamed it was not mumbled it was exclaimed don't tell me that you were all sitting here without sleeping sixth one everything is quite all right it is true we stayed up all night but please consider that as a watch the professor said to the martian he explained he explained to the 
alien or the Martian that it was no problem for us to stay awake all night without sleeping. We consider it as a great honor because an alien from Mars has come to visit us. Now next is nano grammar. Now what are modals? Model is a verb that combines with another verb to indicate the mood or any tense. So you can use words such as may, might, will, can, must and could. They are auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs are helping verbs. They also help you to form the tenses that express intention, certainty, possibility, ability, obligation, compulsion and so on. They add meaning to the verbs that follow them. What could he be doing there? That shows the possibility. I can look in the bathroom window. That is the ability. Can shows your ability. And you shouldn't have done that. That is an obligation, a command like you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't talk in class. Now, models are often used to make polite requests or statements. Could you please show me the way? It would be an honor to serve your country. Now, we stop here children. We will continue in the next class. I will be sending you all the picture of all these. Copy it correctly and study. Thank you.